Let me show you how to do two different beach paintings on seashells. That's right, we're gonna paint on seashells today. And the first thing I'd tell you to do is use a little bit of gesso or white primer to fill in all of that porous surface. And it also gives it a nice white base to paint on. So I'm using nice smooth shells today, which I suggest doing if you're gonna do a full out painting. So here's some I primed. Here's a daytime beach first. I'm going to use a size six round brush with some light blue and white and do back and forth strokes like I would on a regular canvas, which you could paint these on canvas by the way, but because they are miniature paintings, instead of a mop brush, I am using a smaller round brush. But using those two colors back and forth together, that's your sky. And then using some dark teal and bright blue, same brush, I'm going to do a line underneath the sky for the ocean. There we go just like that. You decide how wide it is, but I'm also going to take the same brush then, and you can have some of the blue already on there, but I'm taking white paint then and doing a wavy line for the waves um, crashing onto the beach. And at the very bottom of your shell, use some tan, same brush, back and forth. That's your sand. Now with a hard bristle size four flat brush, the hard bristles make it nice and easy to tap in some texture. I'm just using white paint. This is a good alternative to a fine sea sponge on a miniature painting because the hard bristles give you that texture. Once you have a little bit of texture of white, I'm even going to add a little bit of the blue in there, tap in in different areas on that big white stripe. You can even do darker blue in the back. This makes it look like the waves are crashing onto the beach. That's an easy beach scene, but let's make it interesting. I'm going to take a size zero detail brush now and some dark brown and do some wavy grasses growing on the left-hand side of my beach. You know, those beachy grasses that you see walking up to the ocean. Taking some dark brown, tan, and even layering on different shades of light brown for highlighting all different heights. See, I'm even bringing mine over all the way to the edge since my shell's a little bit wider. And even using another size four flat brush, it doesn't matter if this one is hard bristle or not, but I'm going to load it up with tan and then dip either tip into the white and then dark brown. With the white at the top and the dark brown at the bottom, I'm just going to very lightly tap the brush just like that on each of the tips even in between in different areas to make it look like the tops of the seed pods on those grasses that's pretty nice now i don't have teeny tiny pouncers but i am going to use a brand new pencil eraser with yellow and white paint and press down and pull up like i would a pouncer and there's a perfect little mini sun oh look how cute and if you want birds flying like those seagulls, you can take a fine tip Sharpie or pen of some kind and just draw teeny tiny birds. I suggest doing this if you don't have really, really fine detail brushes. So that's a daytime beach. Let me show you the nighttime sunset one. I'm taking my size six round brush and starting with yellow in the middle of my shell and then dipping right into orange, not washing it. I would backtrack with a little bit of yellow then to blend that area. And we're just gonna keep moving up like a sunset dip into some pink and backtrack with some yellow and orange to blend where those meet and at the very tip I'm going to use some light blue and because you have a little bit of pink there you see a little bit of light purple blending too which is really pretty uh, you can do a second coat like I'm going back in and making my orange and yellow a little bit brighter here all with the same brush and then we're gonna do our water because it's nighttime I am adding a slightly darker shade of navy blue to this as well but see there's the darker blue you can brighten it up if you want I do like the lighter blue a little bit I'm blending that in for some contrast there we go and then taking some tan I'm going to fill in the rest of the shell see how I have a little bit of an angle here I want to have a little bit of perspective where my water is thinner on the right side and thicker on the left. You can brighten the tan up with a little bit of white. And then using my size four hard bristle flat brush, I'm going to bounce in a little bit of dark green in the very, very back right hand corner of my ocean there. There's little tiny trees in the distance. Make sure they're all different heights. And I'm not going to go all the way across, maybe a third of the way across my ocean because I want palm trees to be on the left hand side but if they get too dark I do suggest adding a teeny tiny bit of white while it's still dry and adding some highlights there we go just a little bit of texture 
Then I am going to wash this same brush because using white paint, we're going to do something very similar, but using more of the wide end, we're going to bounce in some waves across where the water meets the sand. Now with this perspective, I want this uh, texture to be thinner up towards the right hand side. And as it comes towards us down to the wider area, we're going to start making the waves crashing a little bit thicker. See how I'm making them taller at the top and coming down on the sand more. You can round them a little bit. Uh, it's up to you how much texture, but I like how it blends. So you can, out, you can see a little bit of the water and the sand through that. I like that too because it's not quite dry. Ooh, pretty texture. Now with your detail brush, we're going to use black and make the shadows of our palm trees. I'm going to do one line up from the left corner and then some palms, just pulling out a curved line from the tip of my trunk, always starting at the very tip and do as many as you want. I'm going to do a second one. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Some palm trees lean over Add as many palms as you want. Kind of looks like a spider a little bit, but I'm doing black first as the shadow. And once you get the trees the way you want, before it dries, I'm going to add a little bit of color. So I'm going to take some tan, put that over top of the trunks and some really dark green and white even on top of the black palms. Now, see how you can see a little bit of the black peeking around the edges? That's what I mean by a shadow. It just makes them stand out a little bit more. If you really want them to stand out, you could blend in some more white as highlights, but it, again, it is nighttime, so they would be a little darker. I'm gonna add a third palm tree just for funsies. You could probably just do two if you wanted. Uh, he's leaning in from the left, there we go. And this is optional, I want some stars. So taking my flat brush, I just took some watered down white and splattered it on the top. If you wanted a little bit more control, use a sewing pin for teeny tiny little stars, especially around that top corner. There we go. And then don't forget to seal your shells, especially if you're leaving them outside anywhere. I know some people hide rocks. You could hide shells maybe. I don't know, that could be a new tradition. Don't know if it's legal, but <laughs> have fun with it. Make it your own. I'd love to see your shells. And if you like this tutorial, follow me for more.